Hello and welcome to Learning Redstone Part 6. In this part I want to talk to you about Hoppers, Droppers and Dispensers. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Pun intended. Let's start with the Hopper. The Hopper is a block that tries to suck up items on top of it. When you throw items on it, you will suck them up and store them in an inventory. You can access that inventory by right clicking it. He has up to 5 slots where you can store basically 5 stacks of items. The hopper will always try to push out the items. The direction he is pushing out the items is depending on how you placed it. When you place the hopper on top of another block, it will curve like this, so straight down. The hopper will now try to push the items straight down. You can change the direction where the hopper is facing by the direction you place the hopper. So when you place the hopper against the block, like that, the hopper will curve into that block. So now the hopper will try to push the items in this direction. The hopper can move the items or push them downwards or in any of the four cardinal directions but he can never push the items upwards. Hoppers can be chained, so you can place a hopper that is facing into another hopper. For that, you can simply hold shift and right click. If you won't hold shift, you just access the inventory of the hopper. So holding shift, right click to place the hopper into the next hopper. And now this hopper pushes his items into the next one, into the next one, into the chest, since all of them are facing into the chest. So now when we drop an item in this hopper, or any of the hoppers, they all end up in this chest. This is pretty handy for many, many farms. Hoppers can also take out items out of chests or other blocks. We get to that later, which blocks are supported for this. However, what if we end up with a setup like this? Items of the, out of this chest get sucked. But where will they end up? In this chest? Or in this chest? Anywhere in between? Split up between those? No, they will all end up in this chest. And there's a simple reason for that. Because hoppers are always faster with the sucking than the pushing. That means the items go straight down since every hopper can faster suck down the items before he can push out into the other block. So this one can faster get him out here and this one can get him out before this hopper can push him over. Now all items ended up here and the items would only end up here when this chest is completely filled as well as this hopper. Then this one couldn't suck up more items and the items would end up in this chest. Hoppers can be turned on and off by redstone. So this hopper is now powered, indicated by this redstone lamp. Now it would be unpowered, but again, let's show you. So a powered hopper is turned off. Now he won't pick up items that fall onto him and won't push items that are already in his inventory. When we now depower the hopper, he will once again suck up the items and continue to push them into this chest. By that, we can control if a hopper should put the items into a block or not. That can be also pretty handy. These are the blocks that can interact with a hopper. So the hopper can either fill them and or empty them. This should be true for all of these blocks. The only real exception for a block with an inventory that can't interact with the hopper is the ender chest. The others can be filled or emptied with the hopper, depending if it's facing into them or sucking the items out. Alrighty, let's move to the dropper and the dispenser. So the dropper is the one with just half a circle and the dispenser is the one with the full circle. That way you can see which one is which 
the rest of the sides all look completely the same. And they almost do the same, except for a small difference. That is, the dropper will always just drop the items in item form, while the dispenser can actually use some items, like an arrow he will shoot. And some other items that can be used I show further in the video. The only other difference is that the dropper can put items into containers like a barrel or a chest, while the dispenser can't do it, he will still try to shoot that item. So if you want to put items into a barrel, use a dropper, and if you want to use the item for like shooting an arrow or a rocket, something like that, you use a dispenser. The rest of the mechanic, how they work and can be powered, stuff like that, are all the same. So from now on I will mainly talk about the dispenser, but almost all of the stuff will be true for the dropper, technical wise. The stuff I show here, like what the dispenser can do, is obviously just true for the dispenser. Both the dropper and the dispenser both will choose a random item slot to dispense or drop an item. You can't choose which one there will be. If there only is one, he always will pick that one. But if you have multiple items, you will just choose at random. Now, it was actually the first, but the next one won't be the diamond block. Luckily, that, that actually worked. He could have sped out the diamond block, but it would be random. So again, they both use a random slot, so we have a pretty easy randomizer by that. Okay, so let's see what the dispenser actually can use. This is not the full list. The full list you can find on the wiki, since there's so much stuff I can't show everything I would bore you. But just to give you some examples, um, I show you here some stuff. For the full list, check out the wiki, the link in the video description. So we can place or remove water if we have a bucket of water in the dispenser. The first power ring will put out the water and the second one will pick up the water. This also works for lava. We can also bone meal stuff like grass would grow flowers and tall grass and a sapling or this azelia will be bone mealed but this way it can't grow since we have a block here so would have to do it this way there we have it now the azelia tree has grown since we bone mealed it we can also use a flint and steel to put out fire. The dispenser can also use spawn eggs and can also use shears to shear a sheep or like um, honeycomb from the bee's nest. Then we can put out a chest or a chest with a boat and we can put out a minecart. That is also true for all the minecart variants. If there is a rail in front, um, the boats need water in front to be able to be put out. And then we can also send out TNT that is also already ignited. That I put water there, that would have been bad. So yeah, again, this isn't the full list, or the full list, check out the wiki. So why would we want to drop items with a redstone item? Well, for instance, the hopper can move items up, but the dropper could spit them out into a bubble column and move them up. That way we can transport our items in water and collect them afterwards again. So here we have a dispenser. I used this to show you some stuff because the dispenser would um, throw the item in item form if he can't use it. So I will put in some redstone dust here. And the dispenser will shoot out the redstone dust in item form since he can't use it otherwise. This is a very neat and small contraption. But um, 
it will constantly shoot out more and more items as long as we send in more but this would only work as long as there are not multiple items in the dispenser if there would be multiple you would just shoot once and will then stop you could make another contraption but it would be a little bit bigger but now the question is why is this dispenser powered from this redstone dust and why is there a note block well i guess we get back to qc but here in short terms again and again it is a bit simplified QC or quasi connectivity means that a block diagonal above a piston or dropper or dispenser can power the dropper. So normally you would assume this lever that shoot only this one and this one let's only shoot this one. So far everything is okay. But if we now use this lever and give this block an update like breaking this block we will shoot yes so quasi connectivity is kind of weird i explained it a little bit more in my piston video check that out if you want to learn more about it but just remember this also works for droppers and dispensers Dispensers are able to create iron golems, snow golems or even with us by placing carved pumpkins on the iron blocks here for the iron golem and so on for the other mobs. So you can just power it and it will create the iron golem that in this case actually got hurt, but you get the idea. So you can automatically build um, iron golems with us and snow golems with the dispenser full of calf pumpkins well actually you just need one per golem but you get the idea the last thing i quickly want to show is that dispenders can actually equip items to an armor stand or in player so again this is randomized but you can throw on every single item onto the armor stand and this would also work for a player bang so if you want to prank your friends, that is the way to go. <laughs> but remember, the player can't have a head already. If I now would walk onto it, I can't get another head or something like that. So the player has to be the slot free where the item goes. That should be everything for now about the droppers and hoppers and dispensers. I hope you learned a little bit and if you did, maybe consider subscribing and give this video a like if you want to see more of it. I hope you all have a very good day and see you next time. Bye bye!